Traveling with the family isn't always about heading across the country or around the world. Sometimes it's about going right across town. This time we're checking out a museum at the University of Arkansas. And later we head into the science lab to blast some stuff with plasma to see what it's made of. So come check it out and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Are you guys excited to see the college museum? We're here at Arkansas State University, NEA campus, checking out their tinker time at the museum here of natural history. Oh, look, they got a mammoth. Is that cool? Woolly mammoth skeleton? I wonder if this is the one they actually found out here. Right here in Craighead County in Arkansas, they actually found a mammoth skeleton, a Colombian mammoth a while back while they were digging a new ditch for a roadway to uh, divert irrigation and stuff. They're, they're seeing if they can build something and they can stay against a hurricane. Oh, hurricane force? Oh my goodness. Or earthquake, earthquake. Oh, an earthquake, so it's a shake table. All right, so Lex is going for the tower stack, stacking it up like a skeletal structure, trying to make it. Whereas Maya is just going for what, Maya? Just Someday. strong foundational support first. Yeah, but where, where, where do people live inside your building? He's going for the solid concrete foundation before anybody goes living in it. <laughs> Maya, is that your tower? Your tower shaking. While you're building, all of a sudden, Earthquake. while you're working, the ground starts moving. Coda's going to use some advanced physics to show us the real way to build the best structure. The temple came down. <laughs> the Greek gods punished you, Koda, for building a temple to them. They had platforms you could have used. <laughs> that is what makes sand bellows, if you look. Seismic waves. They travel out from around the plates of the earth whenever they rub together. And it creates waves that go through the sand. And when these waves start getting big enough, they can actually start making the circular pattern. And that's what this shows. It shows how air can start coming up from the pressure. And then the sand bubbles up and acts almost like a liquid. And right here, Coda, if you look at the Earth's fault lines right here, in Arkansas, right where we're at, at this university, going right up what's called Crowley's Ridge, is the New Madrid fault line. It's the largest fault line on the planet Earth, and it's produced the largest known earthquake in 1811. What is it? Try to suspend as much water as you can on the metal surface Turn the tube quickly and smoothly. As fast as you can. Oh, that's kind of cool. Well, that's too small. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did you do it? <laughs> here, come here, Miles. Come look at these deer. These are albino animals from down here. Albino white tail. Little albino skunks. Rabbits. Little blue tail. Look at that pretty fox. The thing with albino animals in the wild is oftentimes they don't live long because they either get picked off because they're so visible or they have no protection against the sun. So they end up getting skin cancers and stuff like that. Oh, look at this big monster buck. Here's my favorite. A little bear. That's not what the fox says. What does the fox say? 
What does the fox say? Right there. It's a whole dear family. They're just little babies. When daddy was a kid in Colorado, we actually found a baby deer whose mama got taken by a mountain lion. And we raised it, and when we found it, it was like half the size of that. I held him right here in front of my bottle. <laughs> so those are cool birds. They're very smart birds, too. Look at the bald eagle. Look at over there. Golden. And we get falcons. Grandma and grandpa have falcons all over their property. Jeremiah. She's over there being a camper. That's Jeremiah. No, that's not him. That is Jeremiah. <laughs> that's our son. That's ours. That's We didn't even know that was you. We're like, that's not Jeremiah. <laughs> first. I thought we were filming somebody else's crew. He's in the he's in the hut. We'll go check that out here in a second. Oh. Ooh, Lexi's nighttime friend. Yeah, there's, there's an owl on our house that sits right on the roof, and the roof's like right next to my window, so it just starts hooting, and it keeps me awake at all hours of the night. Probably a little one like this, one of these ones. Just a teeny one. Or maybe a barn owl. Look at that property, too. Look at that property, too. Look at that There's your wild child. Kind of cool. The Mississippian culture was right here a long, long time ago, way before Columbus ever arrived in America. And right in this area, the Mississippi River Delta, they built huge mound structures, some of which were even bigger and used more material than the Great Pyramid in Egypt. If you heard any of that. You hear those war drums? Who is that? What is that? Oh, it's our kid. <laughs> Those pretty cool. Daddy, look, it's dead. Is that how you hunt that bear with your arrow? Yeah. Show me yeah. how you get them. How do you get them? Um, you, you throw them right in the head. You throw them in the head? Yeah, right <laughs> in the bed. Bam. That's it. Whoa. I know how to kill, kill bears like that. Whoa. You know how to kill bears with those? Those are teeth. What are those teeth from? They're from a mastodon, like an elephant. <laughs> here, come over here. Daddy, look. look what's over here. Oh, yeah. Do you have any keys? What? Do you have anything that you can tap? Oh, with electricity or something? No, I don't. It's a periodic table of elements. It is. Yeah. It is. 
So we can we can identify those elements and the stuff in your pockets using lasers. Oh, laser spectrometry. Yeah, we're doing laser spectroscopy here. That's what we're up to. Cool. I had a meteorite once tested through, uh, he was using x-ray uh, spectroscopy. Yeah, well, but, uh, this is actually, this is one of the competing techniques to that. MRF yeah. And, and this is called LIPS, laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy that we do. Oh, very cool. Yeah. You got here? I don't have anything now. Yeah, I don't have the keys. You got the keys right there. Record how they do this. I don't have a quarter. Oh, look, we're going to use one of them drives and then get under the All right. Oh, use the laser it. to hit it. <laughs> so, oh, what kind of laser is this that this uses? This is an EMM GAD laser. Uh, it is. Uh, Can't even uh, see it on the phone. Sometime in the 60s. Mm -hmm. So, it's been around for quite some time now. Um, but it's a pulse laser. Can't even yeah, see it. So we're able to use it. Can't so see it you can't so see it hitting it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oil you're frosting. Yeah. 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 Y
<laughs> Just check out the circuit. Did you do it? Did you do it? Claude like, no, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> we're not in trouble. They said we're all right. He's cool. He knows daddy's into science, so he's cool with me. <laughs> yes, college science labs is one place daddy can make friends with very easily. Yes, that's true. Oh All right, you guys ready to go? We gotta get out of this area because it's actually closed. We're gonna learn about living off the land. Pioneer times. Pioneer farming. Oh, you found the red wolf? All right, you guys, we're gonna get in there and get the red wolf. Here's the old time bank clerk. Ooh, the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The old doctor's tools. Ophthalmologist eye surgery tools. Those things were banned from being used. Oh man. Because they were dangerous. Go, Mama. What you listening to? Mama. My bucket's got a hole in it. Oh. Can we hear? It's really fun. Is that one of Elvis Presley's guitars? Oh, uh, if it were, it'd be worth a million. <laughs> this is from the Vietnam War, what the soldiers would wear, different soldiers. You're gonna get an M1 Garand when you grow up? And a pistol. And a pistol? Uh -huh. Cool. Boy. And a new Cool. Look at those. Those are all the World War II guns that they used in World War II. Oh, I want that with a sword. Oh, yeah. Look, you see these, Miles? Those are bombs, landmines. You step on those and they explode. Then this was World War II. These were the German uniforms. These were the German Nazi uniforms. That's who we were fighting in World War II. They tried to take over all of Europe and most of Africa and tried to take over the world. So all the other countries had to band together. The United States, the United Kingdom, Russia, France, and we had to go to war against them. And this was up in the Dakota country, the Indian Wars. Remember the Black Hills when we were traveling up there? That's a big bison coat. And this is from the Civil War. Oh, man. <laughs> Very nice to meet you, m'lady. <laughs> Are you Annie of Green Gables? <laughs> <laughs> Miles, are you a bandit? Yeah. I see you with that hat and that mask. You robbing yeah. banks? You gonna go rustle up some cows? Oh, cow rustle, cattle rustling, huh? Miss Anne of Green Gables, pleasure to meet you. This is Maya's pioneer fate, what he happened to him when he was in the pioneer days. What do you think you're gonna get, Maya? Heavy storms, homesick, find gold, find grapes. You found wild blueberries? No, river pirates sank his raft. Maya got pirated. Let's see what Lexi gets. <clears throat> Lexi got Spanish fever or what? The family gives her shelter. 
The rattlesnake bites your dog. <gasps> Family gives you food and shelter for a night. Aww. <laughs> it's just how I'm gonna pick. Coda's like, I choose my fate. I don't leave it to chance. You gonna get? <gasps> you sure Koda a shot a bear, the great I hunter. Like Here, now Koda, you gotta show us. Can you really shoot the bear? Maya just shot the bison. Oh, Lexi missed the deer. Miles. Miles, you spun it. What's your fate gonna be? What's your pioneer fate? Are you gonna discover gold? Or are you gonna get homesick and lonely? I'm not like that. Heavy storms flood you okay. You got flooded. Nope, nope. No, wait, nope. it's going back. Nope. His tide's turning. His tide's turning. He found some wild honey. And then. And then what happened? A bear attacked you. And, and got you your friend, bad. but you're okay. So then, He's got a whole story. And that's the end of him, apparently. <laughs> Miles had a whole story. I know, come just go back and forth. Oh, smash the deer, huh? Let Miles try it. Throw it. Oh, almost. You made it over it. Go to Alexis. Come look at these crystals. Which is what gives it its color. That's what makes it amber, is the iron oxide. So it's kind of like rust in it almost, isn't it? Should we go find some quartz like that, Koda? Just put it all over your room, shining like crystals. Quartz. Beaming like you're in a cave. Oh, a chandelier of crystals. That'd be awesome. A chandelier of crystals would be really cool. Oh, wow. You guys are doing a good job building stuff. Can I hold your hand? Who's it's kind of sweaty in here. I have boots. I'm a giant. I destroy I things like this. No! Oh, Miles is building these two right now, too. Oh, smashing me. I don't know these people. I don't know. I don't know.